Hi, welcome to my PyQt video tutorial where I'll be looking at PyQt 5 using Python 3. I want to try to do for Python what Void Realms has done for C++. I used his YouTube channel to learn how to use um, Qt Creator and I, I thought it was fantastic and felt that we needed something as well. I'm not going to tell you how to install um, PyQt or Python 3. I've put a, a link um, to the Tutorials Points um, website, which you can see on the screen at the moment in the description below. And you can click on there and it tells you exactly what to do. But there are loads of these on the internet. I didn't think it was necessary to do it again. Also, within every video, I will be putting the code that I use, um, a link to the code that I use in the description below as well, so that if you do try doing it yourself and it doesn't work, you can actually try it with the code that I've actually used to see if that works in case you've made a typo. I will aim to make all the videos quite short and to really be looking at one point only. Of course, there will be exceptions, but they will be exceptions. I hope to make it so that I can keep your concentration for the whole length of the video and that you do find them helpful. In this first lesson we're going to create a basic window and there are five things that we need to do. We need to import the QWidgets module so that we have access to the um, graphical user interface. We then need to create an application object so that we've got access to the event loop. We then need to create a queue widget because we're going to use that as our top level window. We then need to show the window and then we need to start that um, event loop by using the app.exec function. Now we're going to put all of that in a function which we will then call to start our window running. So let's write the code to make our basic window. I've already included the import statements. I'm now going to write the function that is going to create our window. So we're going to have def window. So I've decided to call my window. You can call it whatever you want. The first thing I'm going to do is to create um, an application object, which is effectively going to give us um, our event loop. So that's going to be Q widgets dot q application and then we give it the system variables we're then going to create our q widget um, now that is a top level window and uh, it's got everything that we want uh, late in later videos we'll actually use um, some other window in type objects and then we're going to show our window because we've really done most of the work already and then we're going to start our event loop because if we don't do this then what's going to happen is the program will run straight through because it won't keep running back on itself and this event loop here is waiting for um, events from us to run there that's everything and then all we've got to do now is call that function to run the window so let's just see what happens when I run that run and there's our window so you might notice that it's got the title um, hello world.py because that's the name of my file name I can resize the window as normal that comes for free and I can close the window as normal if I want to give the window a title I'm just going to go after creating the window w dot set window title and I can call it whatever I want so I'm going to call this PyQt5 lesson 1 let's run that and there we go it's just the same apart from it's now got a title that we set I hope you found the video helpful you will find a link to the code that I used in the link below Stay in infield with Winfield.